talked about how there is bonding and there is staking. They're quite similar, but they're different. So let Zeus explain what the difference is. Let me just summarize what we've talked about so far. So there's staking and there's bonding. Both of them are where you put your OMP as your assets, keep it in the protocol, and the protocol will give you returns. With staking, it will give you additional OMP. With bonding, you give, they give you additional OMP. With staking, you can put for as long as you want. doesn't matter. And you will just keep getting additional tokens three times a day. Whereas for bond, you put them for five days and you can either realize their returns or you can continue bonding for the next five days and five days and five days. And that's the main difference. So why is there different returns coming in? Why are you getting more OMP tokens? It's because you're providing work, you're providing value to the protocol by staking your assets, your OMP tokens in a protocol. This is adding liquidity to the protocol, kind of like value add to the protocol. And hence you are rewarded for that. Pretty spot on. We do kind of see that, you know, bonds are generally more profitable um, if you really play them correctly. Um, and they kind of should be because they're more of a direct value accrual. Kind of the difference is that bonds are an active strategy and they're much less consistent. Um, you don't kind of know when you're going to get what discount um, or if you will. Um, and then you have staking, which is, you know, more of a passive strategy where you, you know, experience the growth of the network. Um, you know, the purpose of incentivizing the staking is the same as in the case of Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, you know, they don't have staking, but it's similar on the protocol level to sustain the bonds for Bitcoin. You know, there's 30 million dollars worth of Bitcoin mined every day and you need someone to be the counterpart of the miner, you know, selling that Bitcoin to cover their costs. In, in the case of staking, it's similar. The, the rewards primarily serve to edge the staker against dilution. Um, where if we were to have no rewards, then you would just have only the bonds increasing supply and stakers would be losing market share. And that would <laughs> make a, a pretty hard sell for why you would want to hold OM itself. In our case, you pretty closely track the growth of the network at large. And so you, you can experience the growth of the network despite the fact that supply is increasing around you. Thank you so much for staying throughout this entire video. If you're interested to learn more and you want to join the community, do check out our Discord Check out our academy and you get to watch these videos for free as well without any ads. And also grab the book that I've talked about earlier on. The book summarizes a lot of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to design and the different aspects that can be changed during the entire design process. We also just launched Econteric. Econteric is really economics plus esoteric because this space is so complicated and so difficult. What we want to do is to make it easier for anyone to come and learn and be part of this system. So in Econteric, we are breaking down the different analytics and different data to give you more insights to understand the robustness from a very fundamental level of the health of this ecosystem. So check out econteric.com and I'll see you there. Bye.